And so it's a, a wonderful milestone uh, to be here today uh, getting the pledges that will make sure that every child in the world can have that rotavirus vaccine. Now, Gobi is a, is a great investment uh, because it really gets into the countries and gets these new vaccines out there. In the last decade, uh, that's been the case. Uh, in the decade ahead, uh, we have these additional vaccines. Uh, and it's been a shame that in some cases, countries have applied uh, to Gavi, but because of financial limitations, uh, we haven't been able to approve their applications for the new vaccines. And so when we saw that a year ago, we said, we've got to rally around and make sure uh, that doesn't happen again. And that's why we set a very ambitious goal for today's conference. A lot of people said, don't you understand? This is a, a tough time to be doing this. And we said, uh, absolutely. But we knew that the, the facts were on our side. Uh, we also uh, had, had great support uh, from the vaccine manufacturers in terms of uh, continuing to get the prices down. Uh, and so that uh, makes all of this possible. We also have ambitious goals for getting vaccine coverage up. It's wonderful that it's up at 80%. Uh, but Gavi, working with key partners, in particular WHO and, and UNICEF, uh, can get that even higher. And so today gives us uh, resources that will go into that. So how do, how do we look at the timeline? Well, uh, going back to 2000, uh, that's when Gavi was first established. Uh, within five years, uh, they had gotten uh, hepatitis B, Haemophilus influenza, uh, Hib and yellow fever out to lots and lots of people. It's now that we're going to start to get the last two vaccines that rich kids take for granted, the pneumococcus and, and rotavirus, and over these next five years, get them out to every child everywhere. Um, that means for the first time ever that we have equity in vaccines, uh, that we don't take the poorest children who are actually the most susceptible to these diseases and the benefit of giving them the vaccine is the highest and yet in the past they've been the ones who don't get it. 